Cheers and welcome, my friends. I'm Horatak, and we are playing Europe Prime Solace 4 with the newest DLC, Rule Britannia. Welcome back to our Holland, Holland into Netherlands campaign of very hard difficulty. We're just busy building up our spy networks, waiting for our troops to be up with it, which is going to be in 1460. And then we're going to take Flanders over here, um, take Burgundy down a notch, which is going to be good. And uh, yeah, uh, Burgundy has now. Friesland as an ally so I could probably attack Friesland and go for a truce break but I might have to do without um, France then okay so we're ahead of time in this one too which like boosts our innovativeness further I'm gonna try to keep that up if I uh, possibly can uh, we have superior unit types so now we have men at arms I like that do you have men at arms no they don't so that's probably not going to be good for them. Mm. England is at war with, with Scotland and France. Damn it. England and Kildare. Okay, so I guess it was bound to happen. Well, that kind of complicates things because uh, France will probably defend me if things go uh, rough. But they will probably not go into an, a war of aggression with me. That might not be a thing. Promising trader. Ooh. Okay. I might take that trader. Like if we... We're still behind in Diplotech. Can't really quite afford the 2.14. But I could kick the National Tax Modifier guy. The trading income might pay for, for itself. Let's just test that. Let's see how that goes. 0.15. Almost. Almost. Flanders have embraced the Renaissance. Which is good, I guess. Hmm. Almost. Yeah, there's nothing really that I can do. If I go for economic, I get like plus 10% national tax modifier. That would probably do it. But I really want to go innovative. <laughs> Well, we'll see how it goes. Having additional merchants is probably also going to help. Mm. I do have the admin power. Austria decided to accept the offer of knowledge sharing from Genoa. Embracing Renaissance will be sped up in the Austrian capital area. Okay, that's kind of cool. Mission fulfilled. What do we fulfill? A high income? Really? What does that do? Reducing construction costs and construction time. I don't want that right now, so we're going to keep it. And we're gonna we're gonna wait until we're ready and rich. Till we're actually finally ready to build buildings and all. Um yeah, let's go for innovative ideas. Um are we gonna get innovativeness? Yes! Okay. So let's let's actually go down the innovative ideas as much as we can. This is good. I'm I don't mind losing a little bit of money if we're actually having a ton of power. I mean, once we have to activate our faults and all, uh, we have to reevaluate how we're doing things. That is really good, the reduced aggress aggressive expansion impact. I like that, for sure. Okay, so we're going to pull that guy back, because the only claim that I can really take on Friesland... Uh, I can't take Groningen, I don't think. No, I can. Okay, so... I'm going to take Friesland first, because Friesland is the one that we need. And we're also going to take a claim on Utrecht. We're going to fabricate on Utrecht itself, because that's what we need to. Um, I think we need Galra as well. Let's have a look again. Yeah, we need Galra. We need Utrecht, we need Friesland, and we need Breda. So, it is... It is definitely possible that we get that pretty soon. Uh, well, let's, let's continue fabricating in Friesland. Uh, but Spy Network, they haven't rivaled me yet. I'm probably not going to take it as a friendly act that I have claims on them. They don't have any rivals as of yet. I can't really rival anyone. I could probably rival Utrecht or Friesland. I think Utrecht has picked me as a rival. No, they haven't. Okay. 
And these guys are kind of barred from shacking up with each other because they hate each other. That's good. We have a disputed succession for Desmond, Saxalon, Book. Oh, we have a disputed succession in Galra. Hmm. We could try to. Well, we have kind of bad legitimacy ourselves. So, <laughs> probably, probably not a good idea. We'll kind of just leave it, I guess. Now we're down to 0.5 now. Maybe some. Oh, yeah. Modifier has expired. Affectionate royal couple. That happens. Um, so, what's that? Utrecht opinion, lose some power. Yeah, screw Utrecht. I don't care about them. Amsterdam is no longer the seat of a cardinal. Really? They pulled my cardinal? Bastards. That's not right. Should not be a thing. Let's go up to higher speed. We're in 59 already. Could you maybe just win your war, France? It's just a thought. Where are your troops, though? Like, do you really only have 24k? Where's the rest of it? You're supposed to be really powerful. But it doesn't really look like you're, you're all that powerful. Hmm. I wonder if Burgundy is going to attack me. I mean, that's going to that's gonna pull in Austria. Austria is ready. Uh, they have tons of troops and they're ready to fight. So I don't think so. Yeah, they must have lost a bunch of troops in some sort of skirmish or other. Um, looks like they also lost their fleet. It uh, looks like... Okay, Friesland is going to hate me now. It happens from time to time. So we're drilling these troops. Are you at... Yeah, they're at military attack 5 now. That sucks. I could probably just attack Utrecht. Where are you allied with? Brittany and East Frisia. So... They're probably too big to vassalize of 20, 17, 12. No, they're not too big to vassalize. I could try to vassalize Utrecht, but the problem is I might just bite, up, uh, bite off too much. I mean, my aggressive expansion is largely down, but expanding the HRE is a very tricky thing to do. Hmm. It's a thought. It's definitely something to think about. We're almost there with Friesland taking the claim on Groningen, and that's kind of it then. At 400 Diplo power, we should be able to take that next Diplo tech. I really want the trade efficiency. Losing 0.33, yeah. Um, no, come on, our air is now a babbling buffoon. Come on. Well, we had a great start, I guess. I gotta get some problems <laughs> down the line. But yeah, we have like a uh, current leader who has admin 6, and we have an heir who has admin 6, so that's pretty good. I think there's really no downside to killing our current leader right now, although the aggressive expansion impact is going to be incredibly helpful. Scotland is occupying Calais. Really? Oh, England has brought a ton of troops down. Close member of the family of our ruler has proven utterly naive and keeps telling foreigners vital information publicly. Yeah, my stupid son, come on. It's a foreign spy detection. Whatever. It's okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna pull you back from Friesland. Our truces have ended. So, fabricate a claim on Groningen. And we also wanna claim Galra. Because that's what we need. Overstay. Nah, we might not. Now, why are you guys... No, you're not in a war. But they have troops on my borders. <laughs> I really don't like that. I think I actually gotta... Re-garrison my fortresses. And we kind of gotta kick him out. Let's go for reduced land maintenance. And let's go for that guy too. Like, let's just cut down our running costs. This should be okay. France really gets it here. Why? How is England so powerful now? That's weird. Did you, like, have a, a bankruptcy or something? What's going on? Guess I guess I actually chose the wrong horse. Who's in this? England, Kildare, Ulster, and Brittany. Yeah, but Brittany on its own isn't strong enough. 
to do things. It really looks like England is very strong. They're actually much better at ferrying their troops over to the continent, I see. Okay, then. Ah, these guys are 100% drilled, apart from that one regiment that we built later on, so... Our troops should perform decently in any battle. Mm, we also have almost picked up the first level of the professionalism. Okay, so we have local traders demand aid. Merchants and captains of trade vessels in Zeeland have sent a representative to the government describing their home as increasingly lawless land, where piracy runs rampant and ships and ports are routinely raided by privateers. They argue that the government has neglected them and requests funding to build defenses against the growing threats. If this request is not granted, many feel like they've already lost too much and will take their business elsewhere. Oh man, oh man. So I have a bunch of local unrest and less goods produced. If I refuse to aid the traders, oh, I have to lose a hundred ducats. Four local unrest. Oh, well. Deal with it. Ooh, our guy has got, gotten another star. And we can now invest in a new idea, which gives us more innovativeness. So, yes, please. Next one is going to give us the tech reduction. Damn it. Come on, France. You can do this. I definitely cannot pull them into a war against uh, Burgundy now. They have like 40k. And it looks like um, England has some troops. Yeah, they're probably going to be able to take Brittany though. Yeah, they're English troops. 26 and 28. Ah, they should be able to pull Burgundy out of this. If they actually win that siege. At minus 50, minus 43. They haven't, they can't blocade it, because their naval power isn't, isn't high enough. Interesting, interesting. Not good, not good. Maybe we should just attack Utrecht. Britannia, Brittany is probably not going to honor the call even. Yep, they won't. So we might just be able to snipe Utrecht over there. Oh man, that, and that's a bunch of unlawful territory. Which one has more development? Utrecht or yeah, Galra has more. But I need to take I need to take Utrecht because I oh mean I mean it's a good opportunity though. So we're gonna fabricate a claim on Oversticht, which is all that we can do. We're gonna stop training these guys. Uh, we're like gonna bring our troops over here. We're gonna have our trade ship come over. That's probably gonna hit us uh, economically. We have some privateers out there. They have 11k, I have 11k. I might be able to pull these guys in. How many favors do we have, Munster? Two. It's not enough. Uh, yeah, these guys actually have 20k. Holy cow. That's a lot. And they have a level 3 fort over there. Hmm. Well, we're going to see how that progresses. Getting a trick is going to be a nasty thing in any case. It's going to be very gnarly. Doesn't look like France is really going to win this. We have some unrest in Zeeland. Might as well park our troops there while they recover their morale. Yeah, I guess we gotta guess we gotta protect our trade until we're actually starting to do things. Now this is all HRE territory, and that is a real problem. If I attack them. The Emperor is not going to come in, because, yeah, Holy Roman Empire, and we, they don't owe us any favors. And France is in another war. Still don't have ten favors. Damn it. Occupied and besieged. Even without those, they wouldn't come in. Yeah, they would, if they didn't. Yeah, they, they would. They would. If they were actually in a good state, which they aren't. They're actually getting kind of kicked around here. Not good. Looks like England is pretty strong this time. They might have gone a little bit overboard with buffing them uh, in the Rule Britannia patch. <laughs> I don't think they should be stronger than France. At least not historically. Like They weren't. Because the economic uh, base of France was much stronger. Much, much stronger. But uh, well, I guess. Who am I to, who am I to judge? 15.45. The, the supply depot is kind of useless, 
but being able to refill the garrisons and then regaining the manpower when disbanding is very powerful. And then reduced morale damage taken by reserves, also great. But the, the reduction to general cost is like the best of these, I think, which is why it is at the top. I understand. Uh, do we need more spy network over here? The problem is I can't just jump them. I mean, I could try. Austria's embrace renaissance. I could try to pull in Clavis into an, an alliance. Oh no. Allied to Clavian rival. These guys are not independent. Who hates you? Liege and Friesland. But Friesland hates me too. Liege might be a thing. Consider the same four provinces to be of vital interest. Hmm. A war without Brittany is really tempting, though. They're also one tech level below me. These guys are as well, so... And my guys are perfectly drilled. Would you give me military access? No, because my reputation is too low. I kind of would need that to catch their army. Okay, let's, let's work on improving relations with Brabant. And we'll take it from there. Come on. When you war, get out of it, France. What are, what are they actually trying to do? This is the English conquest of East March. So they're only going after Scotland. Scotland is kind of done here. They might just separate peace France out. They were only pulled in because they gave a guarantee. They guaranteed the independence of Scotland. And that has backfired spectacularly on them. Interesting. Still holding some land occupied down here, but the, the French heartland is <laughs> kind of taken now. Yeah, 50k. I've never seen England with that amount of troops on the continent. Never, ever. That's actually quite impressive. I'm proud of the AI. I mean, they're taking attrition like there's no tomorrow. That is like, that is a ton of manpower. Like 3% each month. But yeah, they're actually using it to smush France over here. They got the crossing. Um, France might be able to turn this, depending on the rolls. Nope. England won. Can purge or we can lose discipline. Damn it. Okay, purge them. We had to max manpower in any case. So these guys, yeah, they like me now. Do we attack a trick now? I mean, East Frisia I could just force into being a vassal. The thing is, East Frisia is not part of the HRE, which actually makes them kind of interesting. But since I am inside the HRE, it's not that much of a problem. But we're kind of losing time by not going for a war against Burgundy here. Oh, they separate peace. Okay, wh what happened? Um, I want to get the peace treaty. I'm actually going to gonna change that behind the... Um, in between episodes, I want to see the peace treaties. I want to know what they did. Okay, so here it is. Um, France accepted Scotland on the following terms. Scotland will cede Asher, East March and West March. France will cede Chartres and Valois to England. Really? Oh yeah, man! Scotland will pay 20 ducats. Holy cow. That is, that is a... <laughs> that is a very hefty peace deal. That is a that is really bad for France. I mean, they will probably bounce back, but I've never seen England do that well in a campaign yet. That is that is really interesting. <laughs> okay, we can we can actually pull that spy back. I don't think it's necessary anymore. Um, if I were to declare a war in Burgundy right now, France wouldn't come in because no favors. Land. Holland recently broke a promise to give land? Really? I didn't, though. Um, are they still considering that uh, a promise to give land? When I took lands. I gave France one, though. But I guess they kind of hold on to that. Okay. How are my favors with France? How many favors do we have? Nine. Next favor in 65. Until then, I kind of got to fight my own wars. It looks like Utrecht might be a go. 
Brittany will come in now, though. Yeah. Shit. I missed my window. I really missed my window here. I mean, Brittany is kind of done for at the moment, but fighting all three of them might be a bit more than I've bargained for. England has a permanent claim on this province. Really? That's weird. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Has some legitimacy in viewing this province as theirs. Claim is permanent, will not expire. Why do they have that? That's weird. Don't think they had that in the past. Hmm. We could just build up a little bit over force limit, though, if we wanted to. I mean, they're not going to be perfectly drilled regiments. Well, yeah, if we go via Breeder, we take their army, uh, their army out. We chase down Frisia. We separate piece them out until, I mean... France is not going to give them access. Burgundy allied with Switzerland and Friesland. Burgundy might just take that as an opportunity to stab me in the back, though. Although, I think Austria kind of protects me against that kind of thing. <sighs> Maybe I should have actually freed um, Brabant and Flanders so that I could attack them without Burgundy's interference. I don't think I'm strong enough to take Burgundy on on my own without the help of France. It's just not something that I can do. Yeah, let's move on. Diplotech. It's a little bit more expensive. But I think we can live with it. 10% is still not too much. So innovativeness is at 5.23. But it's interesting that you have to like invest all the time into this. But the more you invest, the more it's kind of worth it to invest into it. That already reduces our power costs by half a percent. We fulfilled a mission. Which one? One or more missions. No, only that one. Trustworthy allies acquire subjects is not something we fulfilled. It's the high income again. I don't think I have to take the reward now. Because I don't want to. Or is it the Imperial mission? No, it isn't. Meh. Oh well. For now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of me stuffs in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.